In today's video, we're going to take a look at media queries in Flutter. Media queries are a way for us to get some information on the device our app is running on, such as height and width of the drawable area, check if animations are enabled or disabled, and so forth. The way we're going to get this info is by calling the mediaquery.of method and passing the context, and the method is going to return an instance of media query data class. So here we are in the Flutter documentation to see what kind of info we can get. And let's go down over here. And the first property that we can get is the accessible navigation property. This will basically tell us if user is using accessibility features on their device like TalkBack for Android and VoiceOver for iOS. This can be useful if you're building accessibility into your app. Then we have this always use 24 hour format. This is pretty self-explanatory. We just see if the user wants the time to be displayed in a 24 hour format or not. Now we have bold text, again a self-explanatory one. If user wants to see all of his text to be bold, then this will be true. Okay, now we have a pretty interesting one and this is the device pixel ratio. This is going to return a ratio between the logical pixel and the real pixel. It's also worth mentioning that device pixel ratio is different across devices. But you may ask yourself a question, what is a logical pixel? Well, a logical pixel is when you set the height and the width of something to x. x is the amount of logical pixels it's going to take up. And to get the number of real pixels it's going to take up on a certain device, we just multiply that x by the device pixel ratio that we get from this media query. So let's say you set the height of, uh, let's say, container to be 50. To see how much real pixels it will take up on that specific device, you get the device pixel ratio, let's say it's 3.5, and you can just multiply that by 50. In this example, the container will take up 175 pixels on the device. This ratio can be useful when you're trying to make your app really be pixel perfect, but you will most likely never use it. Now we have the disable animations. This just indicates if the user enabled or disabled animations in the settings. This can be useful based on if and how you use animations. If there is some operation that is dependent on an animation, you can use this to check if the user disabled them and then provide an alternative non-animated solution. Now orientation. This will indicate if the device is in portrait or landscape mode. This can be useful if you want to lay out the elements differently for each orientation or if you maybe want to show some additional content if you're in landscape because you have more space. Alright, now there's padding. This will indicate how much space is obscured by the system UI. I don't see a real use for it, but I might be wrong. If you can think of some practical use for it, let me know down in the comments. Alright, platform brightness, pretty self-explanatory one. Size, this will give you the height and the width of the drawable space. This can also be useful when you're trying to get pixel perfection. Then we have the text scale factor. This basically returns how many font pixels are there per logical pixel. And finally the view insets. This will return how much space is completely obstructed by the system UI. Here they say it's typically the system keyboard. Alright, now let's build a little app showing some of these attributes in action. Here we have an empty Flutter app with a scaffold. Let's first build a container that will take up half of the screen. Let me first initialize the media query data we get from the of method of media query so we don't have to write a media query dot of context every time we want to get the data. Okay, now let's build that container. Let's set the color of that container to be red. And we're going to get the height using the size property from our media query data. And the size will contain the height property. So we're going to set the height of our container to be data.size.height slash 2 in order for the container to take up half of the screen. Okay, now let's run the app to see how this works. Alright, now we're getting this error because... I messed up, I should have put this scaffold inside its own widget, so let me do that real quick, let's set it to home, and just put the scaffold over here, and cut the body, paste it over here, create an instance of home here, and alright, let me now refresh the app, and here we have our container, it's taking up half of the screen, as you can see, 
and there's not that much I can say about that. Now let's create a text widget and display the device pixel ratio just for the sake of it. But now since I'm going to add additional widgets to this, I should cut this out and wrap this. Actually, I'm just going to wrap it with a column like this. And now I can add additional widgets below our container. Okay, now we're displaying the device pixel ratio for our device. And as you can see on this Nexus 5X emulator, it's 2.625. But if you ran this on a different device or emulator, it doesn't matter you will probably get a different number. And also I here bumped up the text size a little bit just so we can see this a little bit better. Now let's see how many real pixels we can draw over vertically. We're going to do that by multiplying the height from our data with the device pixel ratio. We're going to use the same text widget, just a different text. I'm just going to copy this over. Okay, now that we have that, let me save this so our app would reload. And it says pixels we can draw over is 1794. I think the height of the screen over here is 1920, but 200 pixels or so are being taken up by this bottom bar probably. And also let's display the current orientation of the screen and then we'll rotate the screen to see if it's correct. So let's go over here, data.orientation. Let me remove all of this and say orientation save and reload this and now it says that we're in the portrait mode so let me now rotate this to landscape and it says orientation dot landscape and also when we rotate this it says pixels we can draw over is 1080 because now the height of the screen is 1080 and the width is 1920 and since we do not have this bar down here, we can pretty much take up all the space we want. So let me go back. And that's pretty much it. This was a very quick and simple video. I hope you could learn something new from this. And if you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.